One of the other questions that comes up very often is regarding the type of vaccine. You indicated it was a somewhat new technology. And this doesn't use dead virus or live virus like some of the other vaccines. It uses something we call it messenger RNA. And I know that confuses people. Can you explain a little bit what that is and why that should not give anybody any concern? It should make them feel more comfortable, actually. So in our cells, um, we have a, a membrane around the outside of our cell. And then inside that, we have a nucleus where all the DNA is. And the DNA is the blueprint for our body. And our body is made of proteins. Um, but the DNA stays in the nucleus. And when it wants the body to make a protein, it makes a little piece of messenger RNA. I like to think of it like almost an ice cube tray with a pattern in it. And it sends it out into the nucleus to make proteins um, at, in the cytoplasm. So our cells are constantly making proteins. It's a very natural function of our body. It's how we survive. Um, so it's a normal mechanism. And we're capitalizing on that to help our body make that immune response. mRNA cannot travel into the DNA. It, it cannot affect DNA. It doesn't happen in a normal cell. It won't happen in this case. And further, mRNA doesn't stay a long time in the body. It's very short-lived, um, which is how the body naturally works. And that's why we need all these extra special freezers because of the lack of stability. So sh people should feel confident that it won't stay in their body long-term and it can't get into the DNA. It will not be able to affect that. And that's why there is a really good safety profile with it and it's valuable technology. And what I joke and tell people, as a matter of fact, every time they eat a piece of chicken or a piece of fish, they're eating messenger RNA, which is in every cell, as you just indicated. I just want to close with a comment about this vaccine compared to the flu vaccine. We'll all become very used to taking the flu vaccine every year. And actually, every year, as you probably know, the flu vaccine is modified and is different based on the various strains of flu that come out at that time. So every year, effectively, we're coming out with a brand new flu vaccine, and people aren't as concerned about that. Not only that, the flu vaccine has been criticized because it's not 100% or 90% effective. It's only 60 or 70% effective some years. And if you get the flu, most people are not going to have a catastrophic complication. They're going to be sick for a couple of days. Well, compare that to this vaccine, which isn't 60 or 70% effective. It's 95% effective and very likely might prevent you from dying of a horrible disease. All the more reasons why all the experts in all the fields and whatever persuasion feel that this vaccine is really critical. Christine and I have been fairly careful with our masks during this interview, and we continue to be. However, as both of us are vaccinated, we're soon at a point where when people are vaccinated in the same area, we know the risk of transmitting disease is effectively nil, and that's how we're going to get back to normal. However, in the interim, please, you must socially distance, wear your masks, and let's all help. We're going to be heading out of this pandemic. And in closing, I would love to remind patients that vaccination is really for everyone. Uh, people who are worried that they have a serious disease and their immune system might not be strong enough definitely should get vaccinated. It's important to them. Um, it may not protect them fully, um, but it's something that's going to help them. And that's also a reason why people who are healthy should absolutely get vaccinated because the healthy people reduce the transmission and we're helping protect the people whose immune systems may not be strong enough to fully develop vaccination. I know I hear that question often. I imagine you hear that a lot from the public as well, Dr. Lee. Absolutely, I certainly do. Thank you very much. Everybody be well.